But yeah, man, boys and girls, we're here to react to Butter Boys album, man. Hopefully, we, we get to because there's every tendency, you know, the execs at the top, they they have a they have a propensity to just cut this shot at any time, you know. And um, hopefully they don't. If they do, yeah, we have a contingency plan for sure. I mean, <laughs> I'll give you my best shot, man. I really want to hear this, yeah, for the first time. And um, yeah, if you're new to the channel, you're highly welcome. So yeah, man, boys and girls, I appreciate you guys, man. First of all, I gotta shout out to all my Ghanaians this side, man. Look, bro. Yeah, Ghanaians, Madasi, man. Madasi for all the love. I appreciate you guys big time, man. For all the love and support you guys have provided from the jump. It's plenty for real, for real. But yeah, man, guys, it's all I can as inside. Mishyong na mungo zuri, man. We thank God, man, for everything. We're here to react to Bona Boy, and I'm going to have to check out Kali as well, man. To my Kenyans inside, Kali is coming, and to my Ghanaians, guys, I haven't forgotten about Lyrical Joe, man. The project that came out, I'll still have to do a whole life. I haven't forgotten about that, I promise. And then obviously my Zambians, Zambia Kachalo, yes sir, Zambia Malel, hey man, this right here, you already know. I mean, chabe, but I'm trying to tell you, man. But at least for all the love and support, man. I appreciate you guys so much. You know the vibes. To our, to our South Africans inside. Eh? Anything? Mink? Hey, man. Mink vibes is everywhere. Yeah? It's plenty. But yeah, Kunjani, Kunjani, man. I appreciate you guys for all your support. Yeah? See for all your love. Come on now. You know the vibes. Oh, yeah, guys. Without any further ado, let's jump into this, man. If you... <laughs> the intro is, is enough. Yeah? All right. Let's get to business. All right, Bono. What you got for me, though? Wake up, oh. wake up. This has a nostalgic feel to it, man. Bro, it's like it's like one of those Asian Nigerian tunes. I can't even place it right now, yeah. I'm sure more like some of our, our people listening some of you guys that have a better knowledge of of nigerian music history you can tell what i'm trying to say like the sound it gives you that nostalgic feeling of of indigenous music i'm trying to tell you yeah that's enough for what i got i'm sure you know more if you do all right let's get to it bono are you telling me that's a nostalgic start for sure <laughs> I'm a genius. What? I had to show them what the meaning is. Hundred thousand hands where the ceiling is. I told them I'm the highest. With the drip, I'm the flyest. Hundred thousand hands where the sky is. Guys, opening statement. Come on now. That's, that's the mission statement right there. Yes, that's the me. That's the first page of his book. He said, Yo, I told them, man, but they didn't believe me. And bro, if you follow everything that's gone on in Bernard's career, yeah, I don't even have to go back too tough. I mean, bro, a different perspective giving them even before outside so you have a different perspective you have a life l-i-f-e that was a whole project obviously then fast forward you have outside then next thing you know 2019 your boy came with with um african giant think you will get the grammy but we got a nomination the grammy didn't come the boy then said you know what twice as tall gave us the project that gave him the grammy next thing you know love damini i thought oh his brother was trying to retire what's going on next thing you know he said hey i'm not done i told them <laughs> this boy man <laughs> hey Olua Bola, today man it's plenty let's get it it's a lot it's a lot told them I'm crazy. Told them I'm a giant, yes. real African giant, self-confident, self-reliant. Told them I'm the master. Wow. They told me I wouldn't prosper. Yeah. I told them say them be bastard. Tell them that they joke you. Say me can stop smoking you. Yeah. Happy then one just see you. Me and they feel pain, but I move forward and I switch lanes yeah. because you don't go no. Wait wait wait. Did you just say? He was told to stop smoking, but then he's like, Why are you guys joking? Like, are you guys joking? Why would I stop smoking? I'm feeling pain. Is that what he was alluding to? Let me let me actually hear this. Then then they joke you, so me can stop smoking you. Happy then one joke see you, me and they feel pain. This dude, come again, burner. I gotta hear that. That this is very important to me. Prosper. I tell them so then be bastard. Then then they joke you, so me can stop smoking you. Happy then one 
just see you, me and they feel pain. But I move forward and I switch lanes because you don't go no be nickname. They say, Fam, Broski. Nah, man, but are you trying to tell us that the pressure of being an Udogu, the pain that comes with it, you have to mitigate it with smoking my broski? Come on now. I'm somebody that has been saved, man. By God, from the whole smoking vibe. And it's not just a, a switch, it's not on and off. Yeah, well, oh, you got paid for and next thing you finish. Nah, I mean, some people might have that instantaneous experience, but for me, it was a whole journey. And the more. I grow the more I, I do what I do, I converse with people, my mentors and whatnot. I see that I had to go to this journey so I could basically turn my misery to a ministry. I mean, if you're not Christian inclined, that might not make sense, yeah. But if you are, you understand. So, yeah, it's a whole journey, man, for me personally. And yeah, when, when I see my loved ones that do it, that people actually care about like i have close friends i mean friends from high school and stuff that I still do it and whatnot and then people like burner you have Bunji, like guys that i actually love when i see them do it i'm like man because i the experience i have i have to just give that grace to know that they're on the journey man and sooner or later they will definitely grow out of it I mean, hopefully there are no Snoop Dogg situations that these guys are supposed to see. They're like, what? 60, 50, 40, 8. Anywho, man, to each their own. Yeah? It's all good. Let's get it. So, Bonaboy literally says, the pain is what makes him do it a lot. And that's that's a bunch of people's reasons as well, to be fair. Yes, yeah, sir. Let's get it. I told them I'm big Put them for your body in a split second. Put me on your song, it's a hit record. If I put you on, you a rich nigga. Yes, I told them, I told them I'm a born winner. Yes, I stay humble because I'm a born sinner. I told them that I was the real. That's the reference to the OG that's coming. Yeah, obviously we're gonna see some J Cole vibes. So that was the reference to the J Cole coming. I told them I'm a born sinner. I mean, I stay humble because I'm a born sinner. That's literally J Cole's mantra. The boy likes bicycles. That's a humble guy. And obviously, he already gave you the Bon Sino project time ago. It's a whole lot. Let's get it. I stay humble because I'm a Bon Sino. I told them that I was the realest. For some reason, they didn't believe it. So here we are. I told them from the start. Guys, this is why Bola Boy had the effrontery to say what he said, and obviously got misunderstood, he got misconstrued. That's what happens, yeah, with the media, with the tabloids, and it's Bona. Very, very. I mean, when it comes to someone like Bola Boy, yeah, he's so he's so dynamic in his own making. Like when he makes music, most of us that have listened to Bona Boy consistently, you know why he said what he said, yeah, and if. Let me give, let me actually attempt to explain it to you guys. So he said there's no substance in in Afrobeat or how he said it. Like should we call it Afrobeat, African music, this and that? Where Bonaboy is coming from is, in comparison to the American music, yeah, Americans are tired of all the gun gun ba 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 all of that, all that death music and whatnot. There is a resurgence in the minds of Black Americans, yeah, that we can't be having this. What's all this rubbish you're listening to? so they revert back to the motherland which is actually a great time right now like he said the music that's coming out of africa right now most of it just has that joy just has that celebratory value you know what i'm saying where people are just enjoying themselves so people literally just prefer that to obviously death and guns and whatnot and bonobo is saying see even if you guys are coming here now there's still a tendency for you to get the music misconstrued because if you come here thinking there's so much value in comparison to the american stuff actually people like me are the ones that actually provide value like boy especially that album african giant this boy gave us history <laughs> yeah this boy said yo nigeria was a business deal and when you read books and whatnot you actually understand that he's coming from an educative perspective so he told us about the whole history of Nigeria, all the, uh, uh, what's his name, Lord Lugard, telling you that the River Niger, Nigeria, all that business. He said, yo, no, it's a whole different perspective. And obviously, the Niger company, if you know, you know, they're still out here. Unilever, it's a whole big thing. 
So Bonner Boy is one of those people that uses his music to actually educate his audience. And so because he knows how much he's poured into it, he's now telling you guys, you new viewers, that hey, this space now that you're coming into, there's a lot of mess. And you have to actually try to listen to music that actually educates you. So in a way, he's still just playing a role in a bigger picture. I'm trying to tell y'all. You could get me school shoot, I understand. But yeah, man. Guys, <laughs> enough of the talking, man. Guys, you came here to enjoy music, right? Hey, let's get back to business. Come on, brother. Let's go. Visionary, sorry. I saw it for a long time. How about I told them from the start. A long time. Yes, sir. OG. Right from the very start. There's plenty, man. I told them. Yeah, shout outs to Burner. Shout outs to Burner all day, every day, to be fair. I told them. Uh, yes, I told them they were gonna see this. For some reason, they didn't believe it. So here we are. We are live. Okay. Which one of you is the abbot? I wanna join the temple. Bro, what are we, we listening shine to? like that travels in waves at okay, a Okay, so that's like a spoken word that that GZA gave us. Okay. To be fair, I'm not familiar with that name, man. If you guys know any more, who's um GZA, yeah? Y'all let me know in the comments if you know about it. If you don't know, don't worry about it. Yeah. After all of this, I could go check the guy out, man. Know what, what this was all about. But yeah. Let's go. What does he have to say? Distance and days. Okay. Radio, micro, infrared, and ultraviolet. Yes, Picture so beautiful, I had to film a pilot. Coined the new brand of philosophy that form images right, in your mind. You, Quite different from photography. Anointed few, a point yeah, of view yeah, of the yeah. thinkers. No pitch, that's a glitch full of hook lines and sinkers. The way the wise look at life, the manner of the thoughtful. You, There's no benefit if it's not resourceful. Fortify the observers, they get something from it. It become routine. Been there and done it. I'm in a place where perception is developed. If you can't walk in these shoes, then your feet will swell up. A medium by which thoughts are made. Now you see why Butter Boy has the guts to tell you that some of the music is just a whole bunch of nothing. Because when he makes music, he gives you stuff like this spoken word, broski. I mean, just like remember when when he had a song with Manifest, yeah? You see, Manifest from Ghana is another guy that gives you a whole lot, not just not just musical nonsense to be fair he gives you some perspective that educates you as well manifest from ghana very interesting guy for sure obviously lyrical joe confirmed uh, yes i could that's an og see what i'm saying but yeah man brother okay guys we gotta move man i mean there are a lot of songs guys normal there are a lot of songs man we actually have to move quickly <laughs> to be fair if these guys play me an ad so we go be funny i'm trying to tell you Guys, let me YouTube. What's going on? This guy's had to. <laughs> nobody got time for this, coach. Come on now. Let's get it. Okay, I don't even know. All right, so that was um, that was the first one, obviously. Yeah.